Hello everyone, my name is Ryan and this is a quick video on installing and running the Outer Worlds on Linux using Lutris. Now currently this game is an exclusive of the Epic Game Stores, but that doesn't necessarily mean you cannot play it on Linux. Uh, in fact for this tutorial we're actually going to be downloading and executing the Epic Game Store Lutris script, which will actually allow us to download and install the game. And we'll also be installing the Media Foundation workaround for Wine, which fixes the problem of the cutscenes not playing. So step one is to download the Epic Game Store Lutus script, uh, which can be found at this, this page here. I'll leave a link to this in the description. And it is just simply a matter of clicking install, downloading it into Lutris, and click install, and then click install again, and just pretty much just run through the process. Now you'll find that the, the actual setup will be completely automatic, but occasionally you may be prompted to install Wine Mono if you've not already installed it on system. So if you get that prompt, just click OK. So I'll meet you once this script is finished doing what it needs to do. OK, so once this script is actually finished, it's just a matter of you now signing into your Epic Games Store with your credentials and from there download the game. OK, so I've signed in, I've clicked install and I've downloaded the game. Now before we go any further, don't launch the game because we need to sort out the cutscene problem. I'll also mention at this point that there is actually a separate looter script for installing the Outer Worlds on its own. But I've actually found that it doesn't work 100% as what it will allow you to do is download and install the game, but the game just does not launch. Who knows, maybe that will get fixed in the future. But as of this video, I recommend downloading the Epic Game Store uh, looter script instead. So step two is to install the Media Foundation workaround for Wine. So by default, after you actually install the games, you'll find that if you try and play any cutscenes, uh, the cutscenes themselves will play, but there's no video, you'll just hit audio. Uh, more specifically, you'll just see a black screen and then audio playing. However, if you run the Media Foundation's installation script, that'll fix that problem. So all you need to do is navigate to this page here, on the GitHub, go to clone and download, and then click the download zip. So I've already done this ahead of time, so just to save you watching it. So if we go to downloads and from here we want to extract it. So if we extract archives here. And this is the script here that we want to launch. But we're going to do that via the terminal. So if we go here and open up a terminal in this particular location. And we need to run a command that's going to reference where you've actually installed the game. So in my case I'm referencing wine prefix to home Ryan J games epic game store so i'll show you that so if i go to games so it's this this folder here that we want to reference so we'll just go back to the terminal and if we press enter to run this command it'll go through and it'll download all everything that you need in order to fix the problem with the cutscenes and of course once the script is finished it is just simply a matter of launching the game and you'll find that the cutscenes will play as they should have done so with that Let's launch the game and we'll check how well it performs. Okay, so let's talk about the performance of this game. In probably about 99% of cases, I get I can run it at 1080p 60fps. However, one thing you will notice is that the first time you load a save game, or you actually transition to a new area, you'll find that the frame rate will just hit the floor. Now, I suspect the reason for that is due to the fact that it's compiling shaders in the background. But, like I said, once you load into the area once, it doesn't happen again. It lasts about 10 seconds, but after that, you know, you're back to normal. Now, I can, can confirm that I've played through this entire game on Windows. And about 50% of the game on Linux, and I can tell in terms of performance. At least in comparison to my hardware, it's about on par. It's the same, really. The only difference, of course, is on Linux, when you load up new areas, you do get the occasional stuttering, but once you take that out of the equation, yeah, it's absolutely fine. So, as you can see, that's gameplay here. Smooth as anything, really. I also recommend that you get this game. It's a really fun game, especially if you like sort of like irrelevant humour. So with that, it brings this video to an end. As always, if you did find this helpful, please do like the video and also subscribe to this channel for more content like this. Thank you again, and I'm sure I'll see you next time.
Goodbye. Bye now.